Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new. Today we are continuing our Mystical Motherhood series and I'm very excited because I built the clown kids room and I'm so obsessed with it. So I can't wait to show you. And also I gave the Spellcaster kids their teenage makeovers just because I knew it was going to take me hours <laughs> and it really did. So I'll still show you guys right now but um, I'm not going to be doing them on camera this time. I also uh, started working on their magic skills a little bit just because I knew that would also take take a long time and I know that it can get kind of boring like skill building in episodes I'd rather use this time to like have more babies because that's what this challenge is really about so yeah the the spellcasters have learned a, a couple spells a couple um, potion recipes as well so yeah I'm excited to get back into this we've got island elementals grim reaper the flower bunny servo maybe one of you guys told me a way around it so we're gonna give that a shot and the ghost baby with dr evil <laughs> so without any further ado let's get into this episode all right guys first things first i'm gonna show you the clown baby's bedroom i actually removed all of the old bedrooms just because it was making this save file so slow and so laggy every time we were in this house so i uploaded each room to my library and I'll place them um, on a big lot once we're done as like a little museum. But yeah, I took out Patchy's, Patchy Kid's bedroom, I took out the alien bedroom, I took out the mermaid bedroom, the Santa bedroom. Um, the vampire bedroom is still there, but I'll probably take it out later when we need more space. But um, the clown baby's bedrooms are right here in s the old Santa bedroom. So here it is. Uh, I went with a red and light blue theme and I tried to make it as circusy looking as possible. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I found this CC bedroom pack on Sims Resource. It was called the Circus Bedroom Pack. And it came with these like wall thingies right here. It came with this lamp. It came with this dresser, this rug. Uh, what else? Oh, the curtains. I think the curtains are really cute. And it came with this shelf right here. And uh, I, this tent thing though, this is so perfect for a clown baby's bedroom. Um, but this is from the Tiny Travelers CC pack. And these pillows are from the circus bedroom pack as well. And then I found just some other random miscellaneous circusy things on Sims Resource. We had to put the tragic clown photo up here. And this uh, giraffe dude, I just, <laughs> I sized him up and everything else is just from the Sims. The wallpaper is in the Sims, the floor, the toy box, this thing right here. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it though. Um, this is probably one of my favorite bedrooms. I don't know why. It's just, it's just a vibe and it fits and it looks really cozy. I don't know. <laughs> These bunk beds, I, I have no idea where they're from, but I thought the cloud thing was perfect. So yeah, there's that. Um, so I will show you guys the spellcaster makeovers now. Okay, let's start with Merlin since he was the first one that I gave a makeover to. So basically, I kind of wish I had done this on camera, but at the same time I don't because it took me so long. But this is him, and he looks so much like Morgan, so much like Morgan, and I think it's awesome. And he also has a really evil, sinister look about him. I don't know if it's just me, but in his eyes he just looks... He just looks evil. <laughs> so I gave him the evil trait. I also gave him the natural leader trait. And then his aspiration is spell spellcraft and sorcery. So yeah, this is Merlin. I've never used the plugs or spacers before and I thought they suited him a little bit. And this is the outfit that I chose for him as well. I found these docks um, by MM Sims. They are so perfect. It's really hard to find good boots in this game but these ones are really, really great. I hope you guys like him. I really, really do. I, I know that the brown and the black kind of uh, clash and that's like a fashion faux pas, but I just thought it looked good. All right, so next up we have Sabrina. With her, I wanted a very classic witch look because like Sabrina is, she's classic, let's face it. So yeah. and. I found this like face paint makeup I thought was really cool and she is honestly so pretty but 
Her eyes make it seem like she's so sad. Like every time I look at her, my heart breaks. <laughs> I don't know. She just has sad eyes and she had sad eyes when she was a toddler. So I guess it makes sense. And I chose this hair because like Elle has longish hair and I have a few witch hats, but this was the one that looked the best. And then we just have this full body outfit and underneath this outfit she's got this like sheer long sleeve um watch if i take it off like it wasn't there before and yeah i just thought that added so much and then she just got the classic witch shoes on <laughs> and then for her traits i chose night owl because you know she's a witch i thought it fit and she builds extra skill at night and then I gave her the mischievous trait as well because she's going to be doing mischief magic like her mom or her mom yeah she has two moms I guess <laughs> and uh, her aspiration is chief of mischief and then last but not least we've got Miss Hermione she is my favorite she is so dang cute she's such a like granola witch <laughs> that's kind of like what I had in mind more like earthy and since Simeon has like longer wavyish hair um, and like Hermione obviously has like big poofy hair I thought that giving her big poofy hair would be would suit her well and then this dress though like it's so cute and I love the boots with the socks I don't know she's just a vibe you guys and she's definitely my favorite so her traits are domestic because she's practicing the school of practical magic so I kind of feel like that fit and then I also gave her the lovable trait um, because she had Charmer as a toddler. Um, so I don't know, maybe that like carried with her as she grew older. And then her aspiration is purveyor of potions. So yeah, that's the three spellcasters. I hope that you guys like their makeovers. It took me a very, very long time. <laughs> I wanted to get their look like perfect. So let me know in the comments who your favorite is. I have a tea again today. This is a white tea. Um, it's okay. I definitely like the passion tea better, but... Okay, and then another thing that I did was I figured out that for the Island Elementals thing, I thought that we had to move to Solani, but we don't. It's just the lot trait. So, this is it right here. Island Spirits. Ancient Island Spirits inhabit this lot, visiting frequently. How will Sims choose to interact with them? So, um, I was playing a little bit, like, getting their magic skill up and I noticed there's like little blue glowy things around the house and I've only been able to interact with them one time and it's now like floating around Brenna which I think is really weird I don't really understand the Island Elementals thing um let's see she had a moodlet earlier oh right here Island Energy Boy, buoyed by spiritual vigor there is no rest for the righteous and that lasts for nine hours and there's like nothing under the relationships thing so i'm not really sure how we're supposed to have a kid with island elementals uh maybe if we interact with them more like they'll materialize happy haunts material life <laughs> but i don't know i guess we'll see what happens with that <clears throat> so yeah i think i caught you guys up on all of the the changes that I made. Whoa, Merlin, what the heck happened to you? Having a mood swing, body shaming, bruise from getting beat up. Oh my god. Oh, oh, see, yeah, here. The, the, the glowy things, but they're not clickable. So I really don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I think maybe because Brenna already has the glowy thing around her that you can't click it anymore. It's all very confusing, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's that. So, how is our relationship with the flower bunny again? Oh, it's pretty good. Okay, and we have seven people in the household right now, so we can't have another kid, which is kind of really annoying. We only have one spot left. Good friends with Servo, that's what's up. And in the last episode, we had Twisty and we had Miss Harley over here. They're so adorable. I love them so much. But, uh, yeah, so... While I was- oh god. See, Merlin is evil, so... Like, his relationships with his sisters, they're really, really bad. Like, awful. Um, him and Hermione argue a lot, so... Be insulted by Hermione. Hermione doesn't seem like the type that would, like, 
be mean, but I think she's just giving him back what he gives, if that makes any sense. And yeah, they have school. It's quite annoying, but it is what it is. And I gave them- Oh my god! This is like not good. Maybe I shouldn't have given them the evil trait. But not all of my kids can be perfect, you know? I'm saying my kids as if they're like actually mine. But anyway, um, I gave Hermione like this green cauldron. This is Sabrina's and then this is Merlin's. Oh my god, can you guys please stop? Just stop. Just don't talk to each other. <gasps> they despise each other. Oh no. I'm... That evil trait is so overpowered. It's like, it's like aggressive. It is. Anyway, <laughs> so I, um, I've been working on their magic and I was able to get them up to level three and a half, which I think is pretty good. It took so long. I think we were gonna do like whatever comes first. If they learn five spells or reach level five is when we can move them out. <laughs> so whatever they get first is, uh, I guess it's just either either level five or five um, five spells. Hermione has uh, two spells and two potions, so we'll just count that as two spells. Sabrina has two spells and five potions. I don't know why she's so good at alchemy because that's not her aspiration. I don't think she has a quick learner trait. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Oh, and it doesn't help that she's freaking dastardly. Yeah, okay. Her and Merlin are like... Definitely gonna bump heads. Okay, and then Merlin has... What does he have? Two spells and two potion recipes. Okay, so they're probably gonna reach level 5 first. I'm not really sure though. I guess we'll see what happens. But um, okay guys, have a great day at school. Make good choices! Alright, Miss Brenna. Why did the old man fall in the well? Because he couldn't see that well. Did I make you laugh? That's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, so what? So with Servo. Okay, Juniper, right. There, someone messaged me on Instagram. Let me give you a proper shout out here because we're going to give this a shot. Um... Shy Martin, baby girl Kiana on Instagram says that if you go into the MC command center settings on your computer and you set, hold on, I'll just show you. So you go to MC Woohoo. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So you go to Woohoo pregnancy, risky Woohoo percent, the percent chance that the target will become pregnant in normal Woohoo. So not try for baby, but only clicking like just Woohoo. And if you change this to, what does she say to do? And change the percentage of the pregnancy chance with just woohooing. That is how I've done it in the past when I wanted my sim to have a baby with servo. Okay, well, if we set this to 100 and then we try to have a baby with servo, we can just like give it a shot right now um, and see if it works. Then I'll just like take away the pregnancy and when we have more spots in the household I can actually like have the babies, but I just want to like try this Um, there we cooking blah 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 Merlin had yet to be asked so he had two options. Well, you're evil my boy. I Think you're probably better going alone Yeah, you had a good time that way. Okay. Who's this for Sabrina? Hmm, I think she would definitely prank the Love Day dance. Like, she's super mischievous, so. Aw, uh, it didn't work out in her favor? Well, that sucks. I set the percent chance to 100, so if she's not pregnant, then there's definitely something wrong here. Uh, Art Hermione's class was instructed to create flower-themed cards after gathering glitter, blah blah blah. Hermione sat down, her creative juice was flowing, the card would be shared and open with the rest of the class. So this had to be good. Uh, I think she would create heartfelt ones. Oh no! It didn't work. Sad day. Okay, come on, Brenna. It's time to get up. Get up! Alright, there she goes. She's up. Let's take a pregnancy test and see what happens. Okay, there we go! It works! It freaking works! Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to end this particular one. It was just an experiment that we were doing. Um... 
but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy that that maybe we can do that with Grim too. Interesting, very interesting. Oh my God, there's two messes around this house. What in the world? These toddlers. Oh, look who's here, evil merman. I don't think we want you to come in if I'm being honest. Let's clean that up and make some lunch for everyone. Let's make lumpia party size. That's what I'm talking about. I think the next person that I want to try having babies with is, oh, Servo. Well, okay, if we move these three out, then we will have room for four more so we can have babies with two more people. So we should do Servo and maybe we should just finally try with Grim. <laughs> We're almost to the end of this challenge and Grim was like the first person that I wanted to have kids with. What the? Who makes Lumpia like that? Oh, they must be frying. Oh, well isn't that cute? Oh my god, bomb! Bomb! I want some so bad. Happy holidays, Servo! What the? It's, it's spring, my boy. It is not the holidays, but okay. Look at how like enamored they are with Servo. Is he telling them a story? That's so cute! Look who came to visit, guys. It's Ash. Is that why he said happy holidays? <laughs> oh, it's love day. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, Ash. Thanks for coming to visit us. Who's this? Ooh, Senor Evil is also here. Invite in. Come in, my boy. Should Sabrina invite over classmate Noel? I mean, sure, why not? Welcome back, children. How's your mood? Oh my gosh, people are just like dropping by left and right. Okay, who's in a good mood to practice? Hermione, you need some sleep, so why don't you head to bed? Sabrina, you just need some food. Ray up some lumpia. Oh, there's Clement. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh, it's like a party. Everyone is here. Hey, Servo, why don't you continue making this fish tacos? Gosh, everyone is here. It's so funny. Okay, can you stop being mean to your sister and just go take care of your needs? It's so weird how everyone is just dropping in. It must be from the Slice of Life update. What's up, Noelle? It's so good to see you, Ash and freaking Xenon. I missed you guys. Oh, man, yes. She's such a queen. She's so pretty, even her side profile is gorgeous. You okay? Are you stuck? Who are you mad dogging? Sabrina? Oh my god. Do you not like her? Yikes. Big yikes. Servo, what the heck? Did you really fall asleep making t Bro! What in- Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Servo, my dude, what's the matter? Oh, you died. Okay, um, let's just replace that. Resume, resume. Yeah, good morning. You freaking fell asleep and almost burned the house down, bro. Okay, go ahead and recharge yourself. Twisty is hungry. Twisty, my love, there's Lumpius here. Okay, he's coming. He's on his way. And then we need to get you to bed. Congratulations, Sabrina has taken her first steps on culinary journey. She unlocked the lumpia recipe. Good for her. Oh no, you guys. This bunk bed doesn't work. <gasps> Do you know how freaking sad that makes me? Because this was perfect. Dang it. Okay, well, let's figure something else out then. Okay, these will have to do. Sad day. Very, very sad day. Hopefully they can get to those. Okay, Twisty, come on. Let's go not night. It's not night time! I'm gonna get Sabrina to practice her mischief magic. And then Merlin... Why don't we go to bed, okay? I don't want you fighting with her anymore. Where did our dining... Why does our dining table always disappear? This game is so freaking glitchy, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Okay, Hermione, um, let's get you up. Let's get you to grab a serving. What the heck is Travis Scott doing here? He's just gonna cook in our house. Okay, um, Brenna, send home. You need to leave. 
You too. I don't even know who you are. Go home. Oh, you guys, look. Look, 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 look. This is what I mean by they materialized. So, oh shoot, no, I didn't want to travel. Oh my god, they better still be there. Okay, we're good, we're good. Brenna, get your booty over here. And commune. Okay, she waved. Now they're like going in her. Okay. And she got this mood lit again. Okay, still nothing in the relationships panel. I don't know, you guys. If you know, you're gonna have to let me know because I'm I'm confusion. Here she goes, experimenting in the cauldron. Wow, that was a really bad song. I'm real sorry. Okay, are you level three? Yeah, you're level three. Okay. Have you learned any new things yet? Nope, still at two. This is gonna take forever, you guys. Maybe tomorrow we should invite um, their dads over, or their dad and mom to like give us some training perhaps. Maybe that would help. Everyone had an awful love day, but honestly, I don't care. I do not care at all. Speaking of that, let me just go in here. Oh, it's egg day, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna delete some holidays because okay, Santa Day. Oh, right. That's when Clement comes around. Okay, we can delete that. Ooh, ooh, a new spell. Delicioso. So she knows three spells. So that's great. Look at all of them go. Oh my god, did I really click travel again? Holy cannoli, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> but look at all of them at their little cauldrons. Aren't they cute? They're all so different. What you confident from? Glamorous presence, deep connection, new friend. Cute. Look at these two beans, you guys. They're so cute. They're just chit-chatting away over here. <gasps> That's nightmare fuel right there. What's going on over here? You know, it seems like the only person Merlin gets along with is Servo. I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> Well, if you guys are just gonna stand around, you might as well practice your magic. Practice untamed magic. Clean out spoiled food, and then practice your mischief magic, please. Ooh, Chilio, very nice. Proud of you, Merlin. Keep practicing, though. Oh my god, another one? Necrocall? What is that one again? Holy crap, he already knows four. He already knows four spells. Okay, summon the dead from their final resting place. Blast of cold air that freezes anyone it touches. Oh my goodness. This is not gonna be good. Evil? Oh, he also knows Zip Zap and, Inf and Inferniate. Evil with all of these dangerous spells. Holy cannoli. Oh, hello, bunny! It is egg day, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, keep practicing, Merlin. Keep practicing. He has learned all possible spells for practicing magic or experimenting on the culture. Will continue to improve his spellcaster prowess. Okay, that sounds good. Ooh, look who's here, you guys. Morgan just came by just to come. We can ask him for training. Where is he? Ah, out here with the bun bun who's throwing flowers everywhere. Okay, uh, Morgan, stop. Stop running. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Magic. Ask for magical training! Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see it, guys. Let's see it. Yay! Ooh, what's that? That sounds fun. Look, keep your plants healthy and bug free. Oh my god, awesome. I need to play with spellcasters more. Because I don't know what half the stuff is, but it looks super handy. Are you getting magical training? Oh, there's Elle! There's Elle! Oh my gosh, she's wearing the same dress as Hermione. Oh, girl, this is a look. This is a look. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Hermione, why don't you come- Oh wait, no, 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 Sabrina. Sabrina's mom. You should ask for training too. She's not very happy, but she is mean, so... I miss you a lot, bro. Can you stop by for a little bit? Aww. That's so cute. You know who hasn't tried to talk to us in forever? Patchy. I wonder if he's just like over us. Oh my god, yeah, look! Just good friends. It complete- their love completely faded. 
Oh no, that's so sad. I still want them to be to get be together in the end. I'm sure you guys do too, so we'll, we'll try and work on that later. Are you getting training or not? No, you guys are just hugging. There we go. Yes, train him with your back turned to him. I love it. I love to see it. Are you getting trained? Oh wait, your dad's not here. Uh, it was Sabrina. What the? What are you guys doing all the way over here? I actually think it's pretty cool that we live so near, like, a little grill place. It's not really our house, but it kind of is. It's like our backyard. Oh, God. No! Why are you guys even around each other? Oh, my gosh. You're supposed to be getting training. God, Merlin, you are killing me, dude. You're killing me. Just get out of there. Leave her alone. Leave her be. Oh my gosh, it's Brenna's birthday. <gasps> Is she gonna be an elder? Oh no, she's gonna be an adult. <laughs> we don't have any food. Harley, darling, there's food right here. Oh my god, it's freaking smelly. Holy cannoli, okay. Can this girl, like, not? Who even are you? Oh my god, people are showing up again because it's egg day. Oh, but look, Oak's here. It's good to see him again. Hello, my boy. Look at them go. Okay, Sabrina is almost there. Almost. There you go, Spellcaster Adept. Oh my god, yes. So one more. And how many spells do you know? Three. Okay. Okay, Uh, so we want to spend her points. She's mischief magic. Hmm, what should we get her? Oh, here we go. Yes, Mischief Master. Mischief spells and potions always succeed when a sim is in normal spellcaster range. Okay, let's get her that. And then let's get her... I guess we can get her that. <laughs> I don't really know what that does. What is spellcaster charge? Okay, let's get her the spellcaster socialite one too. Why not? Oh, and look. Yeah, I unlocked all these different... That's cool. Ooh, ooh, what? What just happened? Please don't tell me that you're you're ruining your relationship with Oak. Actually, it's not horrible, and I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> Come and get some spaghetti, boy. Eat! Oh my god, this guy! He is so hard to take care of. You know, we had a butler, but uh, we had multiple- Where the heck did our counters go? You guys, what is with this game? What the heck? Anyways, we had a butler, but he kind of just stopped showing up. Ooh, 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 the spirits are back! Commune! There we go, I had to move the countertop. I don't know how many times we have to do this. Alright, I've got the beans practicing their stuff. Um, I wonder who's closest. Okay. Merlin just needs to know one more spell and then he's good. This bean right here just needs to level up one more time in her magic or learn two more spells. And then Miss Hermione here. What is she going to do? One more spell. Okay, that's very exciting. That is very exciting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Burgliate? What the heck is that? Convince two sims to argue and fight with each- No, that's not it. Acquire something that doesn't belong to you. <gasps> okay, so now she only needs to know one more. And then... We are good. We're in the clear. Oh my god, she just learned another one. Wait a minute. Did I ask? That wasn't mischief magic. Shoot! Practice mischief magic. Dang it, she knows a practical magic spell now. Oh well. Wait. What? Did he just learn his fifth spell? <gasps> and he leveled up to the four. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> he knows five spells, you guys. He's done. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. So he has four points. So we're going to click the tame the untamable. That one. And then he can have... He can have that one as well. And spellcaster socialite. Maybe he would be into, uh, like, dueling, too. So we'll get him that. Okay, he's done. He's freaking done. Why don't you just keep experimenting, though? And Sabrina, you're almost there. You are almost there. And Hermione? You are also almost there. She's the slowest learner out of them all. 
She's not even a level four yet. <laughs> Hermione's fun is so low because all I'm doing is making her practice. <laughs> you gotta grind. You gotta grind. Oh, poor Merlin, you as well. Okay, go ahead and eat something and then do something fun. You've earned it. You freaking earned it. Oh, and he's making tofu dogs. How cute. Dude, this boat going by always just gives me, like, such feels. I love it. This is, like, the cutest animation ever. Look at that. How gorgeous. Aww. I'm gonna miss Hermione so much. She's just so cute. Ooh, CC quality has left the chat, am I right? Get it, girls, at me. No? Oh, fine, that attitude. Oh, look at her rollerblading. If you guys don't watch my eco lifestyle series, I have this mod that, um, <laughs> you can make Sims rollerblade everywhere instead of walk. Someone's birthday. Oh! Brenna and Merlin. Okay. I don't want Brenna to age up, though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and change that. <laughs> Sim command set age, set days and age span. Uh, let's just start. Er, uh, let's just go to zero. It's fine. It's fine. And then Merlin? I don't want you to age up either. I don't know why you're aging up if the others aren't. We'll just do ten... No, let's do five. Okay, no one's birthday anymore. Everyone can go back to to what they were doing. You can leave. Oh shoot, Brenna grabbed the last serving, didn't she? Put that down, you're not even hungry. Where's the spaghetti? There it is. There you go, love. Potion of magical aura, a potion that will display a sim's magical. Let's drink that, I wanna see what that looks like. Yes, queen, drink that potion. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, okay, so what is the difference? I don't see a difference. Oh, she's just got some, like, yellow fog following her around. Okay. Okay, well, let's do some more magic stuff. Hermione, you too, if you're just gonna stand there. What's this? Roller, roller, roller skating. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's adorable. That is so cute. Oh, you guys, look who's here! It's freaking Simeon! She can ask him for training. All of the other kids have gotten training. But not her. <gasps> Infatuate. Ooh, I think she's done. Are you done? You're done! Oh my gosh, she almost learned all, all of the mischief magic spells. Holy cannoli. Okay. Okay, well, she's done. Merlin's done. Um... Yes, I'm cool with it. <laughs> oh no, Servo, you need to recharge. It's just Hermione left. She's such a slow learner, but she's getting some training right now, so hopefully... <sighs> hopefully it goes up. Oh crap. Brenna aged up even though I told her not to? Alright, well, let's just set her age back to young adult then. Come on, babes. Come on. Learn that skill. Or spell. Is it because, um... She is not adept yet. That's probably why she needs to be level four to learn another spell. Hi, Karumba. You guys, I know how we can kill Dr. Evil. We should invite over Merlin and have him do one of his untamed magic spells on him and kill him. That could be an interesting way to go. Oh, Sabrina is super smelly. I wonder if Hermione can like help her out with that. Let's see. Squibberoo! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Oh yeah, look at them go. This is some Deathly Hallows stuff right here. Dang, Hermione! I see you! Wow, Sabrina won. Good job, ladies. Very good job. Why are you in our house? We don't even know you, fam. Go home. Oh my gosh, Merlin's trying to steal freaking Hermione's money. Dude, you're the worst. You are the worst. 
Decursify? What is that? Is that like take away a curse? Free yourself from the effects of a magical curse. Dang, Merlin is um strong. Extremely powerful. He just needs to de-deathify and duplicato. I think it's really sweet that he's mean to Sabrina and Hermione, but he's so sweet to the toddlers. It's just real cute, guys. It's super cute. Should we even have kids with Servo? Y'all are gonna have to let me know because I know for a fact that they're going to be human. Um, is it even worth it? Is that something that you guys are interested in seeing? Just having some regular old babies? I don't even know if there's like robot CC out there. I'm gonna have to have a look. Cause if there isn't, then that wouldn't be fun at all. Ooh, they're back. How many times does she have to do this? Who knows, maybe we do have to go to Solani. I'm gonna make uh, Hermione take a vacation day because she needs to stay home and work on her stuff. Oh, look how cute she looks. I love that outfit. All right, I'm just having her uh, experiment at the cauldron for a little while. <sighs> I have no idea why it's taking so long for her. Oh my gosh, look at this potion, you guys. Forced friendship? Wait, 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 where is that? A potion that unlocks the power of friendly conversation. Interesting. Girl, you are almost there. Keep working at it. Keep going. It's weird because Hermione is known to be like super smart. So I'm not really sure what, what that's all about. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. Very good. All right. So we're going to get her this one, a little extra chemistry because she's the potions girl. We'll get her the practice practicality and then we'll get her maybe this one, experimenter. Okay, fantastic. Yay, she can now uh, move the thingy with her, her uh, telekinesis. Okay, practice your magic and learn another spell so y'all can move out, okay? I like this outfit on Sabrina. Super cute. There we go. She did it! Transport her to late. Move instantly to another location regardless of distance. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Magic, spells, transport to late. Hiya! She did it! Very good. What else can you do? Grand Delicioso? Huh? <gasps> Oh, that is so handy. Oh my gosh, we never have to cook again. Or actually, we're gonna move her out, so. <laughs> we do, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, well, they have all learned their five spells, so let's move them out with their fathers. And then we can have, hmm, let's try with Grim. I'm, I'm curious. And I know you guys have been dying to see his kids too. All right, Miss Hermione. So you are going to go to Glimmerbrook, I'm guessing? Oh, here we go. With Mr. Silver Sweater, there you go. Uh, wow, he has a good amount of money. Okay, Hermione, have fun with your dad. We'll miss you. <gasps> I'll definitely miss you. Okay, and then Merlin, you're going with... Morgan Ember. So that's E. There you go. Okay, and then Miss Sabrina here. Uh, El Faba, right? El Faba, okay. Okie dokie. Goodbye, my spellcaster babies. I will miss you so freaking much. You have no idea. I love them all so much. I think it's pretty rad that we were able to get them to learn pretty much every spell in their field of magic. And they're only teenagers. They're gonna be so strong when they grow up. <laughs> Okie dokie then, what the heck is this? Island abundance? Spiritual sustenance is food for the soul, also the body. Okay, that's new. That's new, I like to see it, I really do. All right guys, well, let's get Grim over here somehow. Can we summon him? I forget. Oh, we can! That's perfect! He'll be right over. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hi, Grim! Hello, sir! How are you? Okay, um, Servo, why don't you just, like, go... Just, um... Why don't you... <laughs> um... 
self-repair, do something where you're not gonna come downstairs, okay? Can were we able to kiss him before? Why do I feel like that wasn't an option? <gasps> I don't remember that, but I could be wrong. My memory is really bad. Well, I've been working for their on their relationship for a little bit. It actually flew up quite fast. I'm, 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 um, I am very swear. Why are you following her upstairs? Where are you guys going? What are you doing? Can you even do anything? No, just with servo. Hmm. Oh, Grim's on her computer. So I don't think that we can woohoo with him, which is really unfortunate. Um. So I think what we're gonna have to do is add him to the family. Okay, um, add to family. Okay, and then the next thing that we have to do is turn on sheets. Okay, and then do traits, hold on, traits dot remove underscore trait and reaper. Did it work? Is he Reaper still? <gasps> He's not. <gasps> okay, okay, we can try for baby. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Brenna. Quickly, quickly. Oh my gosh. Grim woohoos. So when, when this is done and she's pregnant with his baby, we have to add the trait back. Oh, they got fireworks. How sweet is that? Oh my god, you guys! What? He has vans on. Okay, I love it. 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 Alright, hold on, Brenna. Stop right there. Take a pregnancy test. Yes! Yes, we did it! 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 Okay, and now what we gotta do is we gotta give him his, um, treat reaper trait back. So then we do traits dot equip underscore trait reaper. So now we shouldn't be able to do any romance with him. Okay, yeah, we can't. Okay, so now I'm going to remove him from the family. Goodbye. And there we go! Boom, bang, all done. Bada bing, bada bang. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's get her in labor. And then let's do offspring. One male, one female. Okie dokie. Dang, I feel like it's been so long since we've had new kids. But let's go. Let's have this baby. We'll join her. Hey, hey Dr. Evil. What's good, dude? Bright and day. She's gonna have this baby with the freaking island spirit still possessing her. Isn't that interesting? Okay, let's check in. Here we go on our way to have another baby. <laughs> oh no, why do we have negative romance with him? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna take this time to look at some names in the comments here. Okay, I found this one from on one of the old videos actually. Um, shout out to Mel RM. She said that the name Marabella means beautiful demon. How perfect is that? All right, so that's gonna be the little the little girly girl here. I like how unique it is. I think it's very cool. Okay, now to find a boy's name. Okay, I saw Lucifer um, be mentioned by multiple people, so I think that would be cool. Uh, shout out to Ashley Johnson. That is the comment that I'm seeing right now. Shout out to Alina Maxwell. She also commented Lucifer. So yeah, thank you guys for everyone who uh, left name suggestions. They're all so, so good and it's really, really hard to just choose one. But if you guys need some um, name inspiration, definitely check out the comments. All right, Lucifer and Marabella, welcome to the world, my children. Welcome to the world. I'm so excited. I hope I have some good, like, death CC for toddlers. If I don't, I might have to um, wait until the next episode to give them their toddler makeovers, but we can check them out right now. It's crazy, like, looking back on my old videos, the first video has almost a million views and I'm seriously freaking out. A million people. 
awesome. That is just mind blowing. <laughs> okay, where are the babies? Where are they? Ah, stinky. Let's just put them over here. If you guys are wondering about the bassinets, this is a bassinet override from the Tiny Twavelos CC pack. That's such a good pack. I use so much stuff from it. So I highly recommend. All right, let's age them up, Brenna. Let's see what they look like. I'm nervous. Okay, Marabella is independent. That's what I like to see. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We should have looked at Grim and created him to see what he looks like under his Grim outfit. I guess we can do that right now. Let's summon the guy again. <laughs> He's probably like, no, not again. There he is. Good eye, Lucifer. Fussy little babe. Okay, fantastic. All right, let's see if we can have a look at him. Mm, we might have to add him to family again. Okay, let's give it a shot. Add to family. Okay, let's have a look. I'm nervous. I hope we can take Grim's outfit off. Okay. 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 Let's take off the hair. Oh! Oh my god, you guys, look at his eyes. They're gigantic! Holy cannoli! Okay, and oh my god, friend of the animals. Romantic, shrewd, and compassionate. That is like the complete opposite of what I would have guessed for Grim Reaper. I don't know, guys, maybe he didn't ask for this. Maybe he just inherited it. Okay, let's have a look at the beans then. All right, Marabella, let's take off the hair. Take off the clothes. All right, so I'm thinking, hmm, is this the right skin tone? I kind of want to make them the same skin tone as their dad, so like that one, right? Let's see what we can do here. Oh my gosh. Should we give him these eyes? They're so scary. Holy cannoli. Oh my god. Ah, I don't like that at all. Nope, not even a little bit. I feel like these eyes are more like on the alien side. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay guys, <laughs> this is what I have so far. I don't know if I'm really feeling the eyes much. Um, I don't know, it's hard because I don't have a lot of red eyes and I think I want them to have red eyes. These ones are kind of creepy. Holy cannoli. Okay, I think we should give these to uh, Lucifer. <laughs> that would suit very well. But I don't know what eyes to give her though. Oh my god, look at these. These are so creepy. Ooh, I like these ones. They're red, but they're kind of cool looking. Hmm. Maybe her vibe can be purple and then Lucifer's can be red. So let me change her little hair clips. Do you guys like this hair? It was between this one and this one. I don't know. I think she looks like more sick, like edgy <laughs> in a good way with this hair. I don't know, I like her, she's so cute. I mean, she's Grim Reaper's kid. She can only be like so cute, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know what to dress them in. Normally my toddler stuff is like really, really cutesy. And I know for a fact that I don't have uh, like anything super out there. So I might have to download some stuff. Look at her in this, she looks like a little lady. <laughs> Oh man, that's so funny. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put her in this for now and then we will um, I'll look on Sims resource and see if there's any like toddler CC that's more How do you even explain it because it's not goth. It's just Dead <laughs> Okay, let's see what you look like mr. Lucifer. Okay, where were those eyes that we said we were gonna give him? Oh Wait, was it these? These are really freaky. <laughs> these are scary too. Like, I know that some of these eyes aren't meant to be scary, but they really are though. Okay, so this is what I have for Lucifer. I am definitely going to do some CC shopping after this so I can try and find some like really cool CC for them. And then we can, um, 
we can give them like another makeover in the beginning of next episode and i think we'll have them be a toddler in that episode and then the episode after that we will age them up so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i think i'm gonna leave it right here so in the next episode we will give them their refreshed makeovers i didn't expect to have grim's kids in this episode so that's why i didn't like pre-download any cc for it but i will before the next one we will age up the clown babies, which I'm really excited for. And then we'll start working on their skills, which are comedy and mischief. And then, what else? We'll have another round of babies. Let me know in the comments if you think it's worth it to have babies with Servo, now that we know that we can. Should I look for some robot CC or not? And then we will either have the bunny babies and depending on what you say, the servo babies, either one of those. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.